here we are marching to battle on this brand new map. There's about 170 versus 170 as we make our way to the battlefield. On this map there's like a gorge or canyon going right down the middle. At the far distance there's a village with a point, on the left there's a, there's a point but then in the centre of the map a bridge goes through the middle. In this first round it is the A flag down in the canyon floor that is the objective. So we make our way down one of the very few paths that take us to the canyon floor and we look for the enemy as arrows begin to fly at us already. We are backed in a bit of a corner and the enemy infantry wall is just down the canyon taking the objective. We have to pull back a bit as all of our troops are not here as some of our infantry are doing a wide flank. But the enemy don't know this. Some of our cavalry over there on the right and you can see those names. We've got names on the right and some archers are above us firing down on the enemy. I think about this point the enemy has caught wind and is beginning to fall back sensing some sort of danger. We give the order to advance as our flanking force are slowly encroaching on the enemy. So here we go advancing on the enemy's position and they have fallen back to the, to the objective as our small flank comes in from the right hand side encircling the enemy. The enemy try to break out and fight back against our push and it turns into an absolute chaotic melee. Here they are the VSC, I'm always mentioning the VSC, good friends to fight with. The men in the yellow and blue, those are units from my uh, from my uh, my unit, the Aquitania Infantry. The red and blue are members of Koron and Gascony, another regiment in the BRE Army. And these chaps are fighting here with the checkered pattern, these are the CI, a Spanish group. As we are smashing through, taking full advantage of the fact that the enemy is nearly completely surrounded. Flags flying overhead representing the different units. As the enemy get pushed further and further back, the uh, the score at this point, I mean the numbers were quite even, but now they've been surrounded with their backs to the cliff. The numbers of the enemy team are going down very quickly, and look at them, they're just being squeezed in there as we recapture the objective. Nice round, this round goes to us. Moving on to the next one. Here we are marching past the vineyards down towards the B objective, which is in a small village at the end of one of the, the opposite end of the canyon to A. We are the first ones to make it to the village. The enemy up there on the cliffs looking for a way down to face against us. We secure the village. Different units are spread out as the enemy begin to encircle us to find the best way to attack us. Some of our units are pulling back. There seems to be a cavalry gauge engagement up in the hills. And yet some of our allies on our right hand side look are coming down the hill as they're being engaged by the enemy. They don't want to take that fight alone. So we reform the line and get ready. And on the far left side looks like some of the enemy infantry are engaging with us. There's a very small unit on our right flank but the main infantry body is coming towards our shield wall now. Archers are firing overhead as you can see and the left side is really getting drawn into a fight. And that main body of units have come in to, jo to join that fight. And I know I need to take my men over there and let, let the guys on my right fight these uh, round shields. As we move over to the left, the right flank is engaged and we push into the to the, to the sparse unit formation that is the red, red and yellows of the VD. A very good clan, very strong, a lot of good players there. As the fighting completely erupts, there's no battle line here as it's in the village fighting down the streets, in the farm fields. You've got to watch your backs, look out for Cav for both sides as the fighting rages on. The numbers are in our favour by just over 10 good fighting all around, I can't quite see everything that's going on. The enemy is capturing the B point so they are doing well but we have got the numbers so they need to keep killing but keep killing us if they want to win this fight. The fight goes on for quite some time and the enemy is half our number and we do take this round as well. Again this map is new for a lot of people including ourselves and we're all still learning it, learning the best ways to attack the enemy from what direction. Good game. Now everyone loves a squeeze, here we are, the sea flag in the centre of the map. It is on a bridge, it is going to be tight and there is 200 players that want to fit on this small bridge. So here we are, we're forming up on the far side as the rest of the army catches up and the order to advance is given and the enemy is meeting us in the centre at the objective. You better hold on to that W key because here we go, we're pushing hard as the arrows try and find their mark with anyone that's exposed and the fighting is fake, the fighting is fierce. It is very hard to stay alive on the front row here as we're trying to force back the enemy. So at this point what we're trying to do really, you're trying to make a breakaway, you're trying to get an uneven line like we're doing there. The enemy seems to be pushing on our right but we are pushing on their left and we're about to break free and start fighting out of this tight packed formation. It's not really going in anyone's favour at the moment, the numbers are even. And a nice group of us have broken free to fight but I do believe behind me the walls have, re have reformed. 
and this unit have broken away. I've actually been uh, segregated from the rest of the army. It's not looking good for us and I have to fight for my life to stay alive. Absolute chaos ensues once again. Oh, he missed me, luckily. 140 versus 149. So many directions to, to look when it's not two battle lines. You can just stare in front, but when you're in a fight like this, you have to look every direction because you know you're going to get shanked in the back. I'm doing my, mess, my best to do as many, much damage, but I can't see any allies. As I get surrounded, pummeled, beaten, stabbed, defeated. Great round, great round so far. It, moving on over to the main fight, as I said, yet the two shield walls had already reformed. As those that broke through have been killed, and the numbers are actually quite even, 109 versus 117. The fighting goes on on the bridge. Anyone who stands and tries to walk along it seems to be getting shot by the archers from behind. Look at him, he tries to do it, but gets absolutely spe or gets speared and, and shot in the face. You see a couple of flags uh, fly flying overhead of the different units that are involved here. 100 versus 100, both teams have lost nearly 100 men each. Spears and weapons on the floor. Bodies of fallen comrades. The enemy seems to be pushing us off the bridge slowly. Still even numbers, 90 versus 90. And the numbers are, we are falling back hard. The enemy is really pressuring us, but we've got a lot of cavalry back there and some more infantry on our side. They've broken completely through. There's no, there's no formations at the moment. It's 80 versus 75 in favor of us, finally, for the first time this round. And the enemy have broken through and it's turned down to an all-out melee. Although they have won the bridge, there's a lot more of us on that side, and we can attack them from more directions, giving us a slight advantage. The numbers are still even. 60 versus 60, 120 players left on the battlefield. The cavalry are getting a sniff for the, uh, for the exposed enemy that are coming off the bridge, and some of them are scared to come off the bridge altogether, as you can see. Quite a lot of fights here on the right-hand side. Quite an even fight, but the, we, are, we are starting to pull away now with the numbers. It's worth mentioning that I'm not showing all the rounds of this battle. I only show you the ones that I think are the best or have the best uh, replay value. Honestly, they beat us quite a lot. We beat them quite a lot, but I don't always show it. So we are going to take this round, making it 3-2. Well done to both teams. It's always a hard fight in a tight situation. I don't always like it because the tactics is, is nearly null. It is purely just push and hope that you can break through. Good fighting nonetheless. GG. I hope you enjoyed watching this video guys, I did a lot less um, editing this time, um, this is one of the other fights, you can see here it's 5-3, we win this one making it 5-4 overall, so well done to the coalition forces for winning overall. Um, this was a good fight, um, we kind of lured them to this side of the bridge, so there wasn't much of a push on the bridge, and they took the bait, they all came over, look they do a nice push right here, and um, slowly but surely we do whittle them round because we really are surrounding them, although they have this dense mass of units, we're able to kind of really pick away at that dense mass so it is a good fight and um, I'm not really going to go into it too much uh, but yeah guys thank you for watching if you're interested in joining there's details in the description I mentioned some of the other clans earlier go look for them on the Tailworlds forums if you're interested in joining them but we are the BRE the, the biggest Bandlord clan there is and there's many more fights to come guys many more fights there's so much going on the golden age of Bandlord is just around the corner and um, you know I could rabbit on all day thank you for watching glory to the Empire Oh, glory to Petonia.